Hello, and welcome to J-1 Visa Consulting, your resource guide for all things J-1 Visa related. My name is Avery, and I am an immigration specialist with over seven years of experience in J-1 Visa programming and cultural exchange programs. In this video, I'll be talking all about the Camp Counselor Program, one of 15 different categories of the J-1 Visa program. If you have a question about any of the content in this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below or check me out at j1visaconsulting.com. So let's begin. So I'll start with a bit of information about the program. So the Camp Counselor Program allows foreign nationals to work at summer camps for kids here in the U.S. for a maximum of four months. So in addition to the four months, there is also a 30-day grace period. So after the program, if you want to travel around the U.S. during those 30 days, that is allowed. Please note that during this time, you are not permitted to continue working. Uh, this position does provide housing, meals, as well as pay. So you don't have to worry about looking for an apartment or looking for a place to live close to the camp. You'll probably be living on the campgrounds. So foreign nationals must go through a designated sponsor, which can be found on the U.S. Department of State's website. Camp counselors can't participate on this program in a tourist visa or an ESTA visa. So this is not only for your safety, but also just for the security of the program to make sure that all camp counselors have been vetted securely. So here I have the eligibility specific to this category. So first and foremost, you must be proficient in English. So this is, of course, extremely important as all of your communication, not only to the campers, the students and the kids, um, but your colleagues, your fellow camp counselors and your supervisors. That must all be in English. You must be at least 18 years old and have finished high school or the equivalent of high school in your country. You must be a post-secondary student, youth worker, teacher, or an individual with specialized skills. So many of the foreign nationals on this program are university students. You also must have experience working with children. So make sure that you do have proper documentation of this as this will be required. And of course, you must have a clean criminal background record. This is for the safety of not only the children, but for everyone uh, working at the camp. Um, so next I have some important information that's specific to this category. So camp counselors shouldn't accept staff jobs. So these can include anything from administrative personnel, such as a secretary, a janitor, a cook, a dishwasher, maintenance. Make sure that you are only strictly working as a camp counselor. If any of your job duties fall out of that, um, you should go ahead and contact your direct supervisor. Repeat participation is allowed, so you can be a camp counselor more than once. As I mentioned before, many of the camp counselors are university students, so if you want to do this during every summer of your university time, that's perfectly fine. Um, and there are several types of camps. Here are just named a few. So nonprofit, religious, special needs, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, underprivileged, and specialty. So specialty camps can be anything uh, from a sport, a specific sport to the specific art, such as music, dance. Um, it really ranges here. There are so many different types of camps here. Girl Scouts just for girls, Boy Scouts just for boys. Um, religious camps have different religious backgrounds. So you can choose this uh, while you are in the application process, but just giving you um, a glance of all the different types of some of the different types of camps that are available to work at here. Um, and of course, we have our J-1 visa essentials. So these are Important information that go to all J-1 visa categories. So first and foremost, you must be a foreign national with supporting documentation of education and or relevant work experience. So as I had mentioned before, you must be finished with high school. You have to have experience working with children. So these are things that you will have to have documentation of. You also must show proof of financial means to support yourself while in the U.S. So while in this job, housing is provided, you still should have enough means to get yourself through the first couple of weeks before you receive your first paycheck. In addition, you must not show immigrant intent. So this is a non-immigrant visa. So if it is your dream to live in the U.S. forever, become a citizen here, this would not be the visa for you as you are required to depart the U.S. after the end of this program. And as always, you must not displace an American worker. 
So that's it for today's video. If you did find it helpful or if you liked it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, you can reach me at j1visaconsulting.com. So until next time.